Hello everyone. Uh, so our next topic is dielectrics and its effect on capacitance. Like how can we change value of capacitance of a capacitor with the help of dielectric? What are dielectrics? How are they classified? You know, how to use dielectrics to increase capacitance? So uh, all these things we are going to discuss in this lecture. Okay, so what are dielectrics? So in conductors, charges are free to move throughout its volume. Whereas in insulator or dielectrics, the charges remain fixed at the places where they were initially distributed. Now coming to the meaning of this. So this is a conductor. So in conductor, if you'll see, the charges are free to move. Okay, because charges, they are, the charges can flow easily in conductors. But in insulators or dielectrics, charges are not easy to move. They are bound inside the atom. But in conductors, the negative charges are not bound inside atom. They can come outside. But in insulators, this is not the case. So insulators or dielectrics are those substances in which there are no free charges. So this is how we classify or we define dielectrics. So dielectrics are basically of two types. So there are polar dielectrics and there are non-polar dielectrics. So what are polar dielectrics? So if you will see uh, this small atom, so in this atom, there is a net dipole moment. If you'll see, so from negative to positive, there will be a dipole moment. Similarly for this atom, for the second atom, the dipole moment will be like this. So in polar dielectrics, individual dipole moment is not zero. So for every, every atom, there will be a dipole moment, but the net dipole moment is zero. So if you will see, then there is one dipole moment in this direction, another dipole moment in this direction. So net dipole moment will be what? Net dipole moment will be equal to zero. So in polar dielectrics, every atom will have some individual dipole moment, but the net dipole moment of polar dielectric is zero. And if we come to non-polar dielectrics, then individual dipole moment is already zero. So suppose we have nitrogen gas. So N, then there's a triple bond, then another N. If you'll see, both have same electronegativity. So net dipole moment is zero. Same for oxygen gas both have same electronegativity so dipole moment is zero but if you will take hcl suppose hydrogen and chlorine so now there is difference in electronegativity so there will be a net dipole moment so this is how we classify polar dielectrics and non-polar dielectrics the basic difference is that in polar dielectrics individual dipole moment is not zero but in non-polar dielectrics individual dipole moment is equal to zero Okay, so now what will happen if we place a dielectric in external electric field? Suppose, uh, suppose I'm putting a dielectric at a place where there is a uniform electric field. Then what will happen to the dielectric that we are going to discuss in next slide. So suppose that we put a dielectric between two plates of a parallel plate capacitor. Suppose we have two plates, one positively charged plate another negatively charged plate. The charge density of the plate is sigma. Suppose we put a dielectric, this gray colored surface is dielectric. So what will happen is that this positive will attract the negative on this side and this negative will attract the positive on this side. This negative charge cannot come outside of atom. The reason being these are insulators. The electrons are not free to move. So they are bound inside atom, but they will you know change their configuration like this along the electric field so basically negative charge will be deposited on this side and positive charge will be deposited on this side so now there will be two electric field one due to this positive and negative that is sigma y epsilon the direction will be this from left to right and another due to this sigma p and minus sigma p now what is this sigma p and minus sigma p these are the charges that are induced by this positive and this negative so this this method or this thing is called as polarization so what is polarization it is the process of inducing equal and opposite charges on the two faces of the dielectrical dielectric on the application of electric field so if there is electric field then positive charge will dip, get deposited on this side and negative charge will get deposited on this side so basically there will be an electric field due to dielectric from positive to negative so from left right to left so due to our 
plates of capacitor the electric field is from left to right that is sigma by epsilon due to this dielectric there are charges which are deposited on this side that is positive charges on right side and negative charges on left side so they will generate their own electric field and that will be given by sigma p by epsilon so there will be two electric fields one is sigma by epsilon another is sigma p by epsilon and if you will see both are in opposite direction so sigma by epsilon is from left to right while sigma p by epsilon is from right to left now if you will see the electric field due to dielectric is due to this external electric field so definitely external electric field will be more because this electric field is due to this electric field so definitely the other electric field will be more so net electric field will be e outside minus e inside so what is e outside that is sigma by epsilon what will be e inside that is sigma p by epsilon naught so on the basis of experiments the net electric field comes out to be sigma by k epsilon here k is dielectric constant so every insulator has its own dielectric constant every material has its own dielectric constant and you have to remember that for metals dielectric constant is infinity so you have to remember this thing that for metals this is a very important thing that for metals dielectric constant is infinity the value of dielectric constant will be given in the question you don't have to remember all the dielectric constant but the important thing is the formula so basically the net electric field inside this dielectric so inside this dielectric there will be two electric field sigma by epsilon due to plates sigma b by epsilon due to dielectric so net electric field will be sigma by k epsilon or we can also write the formula like this that net electric field will be outside electric field divided by k so what is the electric field outside the dielectric that is sigma by epsilon what will be inside sigma by k epsilon so net electric field inside a dielectric will be given by electric field outside the dielectric divided by dielectric constant k and if someone ask you what is the you know surface charge density on the dielectric then sigma p will be given by sigma minus sigma by k this formula we have derived using this two equations because this both this are e net so if we equate both this equations then we will arrive at this equation that sigma p is sigma minus sigma by k where k is dielectric constant and sigma is surface charge density on the plates so you have to remember this formula that net electric field inside a dielectric is equal to outside electric field divided by k so now if you have e net if you have e not they can you can easily calculate e inside this kind of questions i have covered in quiz so if you attend the quiz you will know how to solve them okay now remembering this formula that electric field inside dielectric is given by outside electric field divided by k we will now derive the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor when dielectric is inserted between the plates now suppose this is a parallel plate capacitor so this is positive plate negative plate and a dielectric suppose thickness of dielectric is t and dielectric constant is k so basically suppose the thickness of this dielectric is t and dielectric constant is k now to calculate capacitance you will need a approach where you have to first write the potential difference so potential difference is basically equal to electric field into distance now if you will see in this region where there is no dielectric the electric field is sigma by epsilon so e is basically sigma by epsilon sigma by epsilon into d minus t because in t thickness the electric field is sigma by k epsilon because outside electric field is sigma by epsilon so inside the dielectric the electric field will be sigma by k epsilon so outside electric field is sigma by epsilon in how much thickness out of d there is dielectric in t part so the remaining is d minus t so potential difference will be equal to sigma by epsilon into d minus t plus in thickness t the electric field is sigma by k epsilon and q is equal to c so putting value of v to be equal to q by c and putting value of sigma to be q by a because sigma is surface charge density q and q will cancel out so formula for capacitance will come out to be epsilon not a divided by d minus t plus t by k this whole thing is in denominator now this is a you know standard way to calculate capacitance when you have a dielectric plate inserted between plates of capacitor there are some two three more ways but this is the preferred way 
because by using this way you can even calculate what will be the potential difference across this dielectric so potential difference across this dielectric will be sigma by k epsilon into t because potential difference is electric field into thickness now suppose that i fill the complete space with dielectric complete space suppose t is equal to d the complete space means all the space between these two plates suppose it is filled with dielectric that means t will be equal to d and c will be equal to k epsilon not a by d so if i'll put t equal to d then d and d will cancel out it will be d by k k will come upwards so capacitance will be k into epsilon not a by d so suppose we have a capacitor of 2 farad and i fill the capacitor with a dielectric of dielectric constant 10 then the new capacitance will be 10 into 2 that is 20 farad so if you will fill dielectric with dielectric constant k then capacitance will be k times so previously it was epsilon not a by d now it will be k into epsilon not a by d so this is how you have to calculate capacitance when there is dielectric filled inside parallel plates either fully or you know partially again uh, solving one more numerical suppose now there are two plates one with dielectric constant k1 another with dielectric constant k2 the dielectric constant k1 plate will have thickness t1 and the k2 plate will have thickness t2 suppose the surface charge density is sigma and minus sigma on the outer plates so in the region you know when where there is no dielectric the electric field will be sigma by epsilon and in this cap in this dielectrics in this dielectric sigma by k1 epsilon in this dielectric sigma by k2 epsilon so putting the formula of v so v is basically e into d so sigma by epsilon will be in the region where there is no dielectric and that is d minus t1 minus t2 plus now sigma by k1 epsilon in thickness t1 so in this thickness t1 and sigma by k2 epsilon in this thickness t2 so basically putting value of v to be q by c and sigma to be q by a the new capacitance is epsilon not a divided by d minus t1 minus t2 plus t1 upon k1 plus t2 upon k2 you can even write an empirical formula for this thing if you can you know uh, think it then you can derive an empirical formula suppose for there are n dielectrics so suppose there are n dielectrics then you can derive the formula now on the basis of this video now we have to submit an online quiz that will cover you know the, how will capacitance change how will charge change how will potential difference change so uh, you have to remember all these formulas while solving the equations always remember if battery is disconnected okay if battery is disconnected after charging a capacitor then whatever you do with the capacitor charge will not neither increase nor decrease because the charging part is being done by the battery so if there is battery then only charge can increase or decrease but capacitance can change because capacitance depends on area d that is the distance between the plates and also capacitance depends on whether there is a metal plate in between or not whether there is dielectric in between or not so capacitance can change you know when you insert dielectric or take out dielectric but charge will only change if there is battery if there is no battery then charge will not change so on the basis of this lecture you have to now attempt an online quiz that is there in the description below and also the link the quiz link with, will, will be with the message of this video if you have any doubts you can send me on whatsapp okay if you have any doubts you can send me anytime no problem okay thanks a lot many thanks submit quiz please submit quiz